The following is of a card destined to be a surprise entry to our $1,000 to $50,000 challenge. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy the mess that follows. Hello, my name is Devs Autos Erect. <laughs> we bought a new car. Unfortunately, it's trouble in paradise. <laughs> so, another update. It turns out that it's this coolant hose or cap. It keeps loosening when I drive it and spills water everywhere, so... So yeah, I'm just going to give it 10 minutes or so, cool down, drive a little further, pull over, <laughs> give it some time because I've run out of water. So I'm going to try and use my flight ticket <laughs> and tear it up and see if I can wedge it in the thread and try and force the thread shut. Mm. Do what I tell you! absolute thief right now because I found a bunch of houses and I've knocked on all the doors and nobody's answering so I assume they're batches so I'm stealing their water <laughs> to put in the Porsche <laughs> there's no leaking so maybe I should have been running the car before putting water in a few moments later completely cold. Let's see if we can make it to Kaikoura, seven kilometers away. Traffic jam, please no. Oh, would you look at that? The exhaust is leaking. Oh, I'm tapping out. Kaikoura is where I shall stay. Gonna book a truck now. I have been trying to stay positive all day. Oh, I'm so fucking exhausted and I'm so fucking sad and I'm just trying not to cry. Everything is misery. <laughs> oh, God. I know I said final update like four updates ago, but final update. All right, I'm in accommodation. Uh, how do I turn this thingy around? The guy that I bought the car off. There you go. You can all see the car now. He has sorted accommodation for me. So I will be staying here tonight. He's got a friend coming up from Christchurch to pick up the car tomorrow morning. I'm probably going to hitch with his friend um, to go back to Christchurch with him. And then I'm just going to take a plane and fly back to Auckland. He's going to send it off to a mechanic. And then once it's fixed, um, he's going to help subsidize costs to ship this up to Auckland. So there won't be a part two of trying to have a really fun drive, but actually getting destroyed by a German from the South Island to the North. The next day. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of the trip from Christchurch to Auckland in the 9-11. Um, as you would have seen from previous footage, <laughs> it didn't quite go as planned. Um, so here's the car. Plans today, uh, we are, well, I'm waiting for, the previous owner's got a friend with a truck. He's borrowing his car. He's driving up from Christchurch to Kaikoura, which is where I'm currently staying, and he will be towing this car to the workshop in Christchurch that the guy had coolant um, worked on, or the coolant system worked on. It's a shit situation, but it's not its not the previous owner's fault, you know, he didn't buy the car, or sorry, sell the car knowing full well that <laughs> this mess was going to unfold, so have a chat with this guy, um, and then discuss with the previous owner um, how we're going to deal with the cost to, to bring the car up. But yeah, I mean... It could have been worse. The car still drives. Everything else about the car is in really good nick. Um, it's just, yeah. <laughs> it just, yeah, the cooling system, which unfortunately is a pretty crucial part of, of any vehicle. Um, I do find it kind of ironic that the very first year that Porsche decided to have a water-cooled system car, and that one obviously wishes it was air-cooled instead, so. So nice. So this is a 1999 996 Carrera 2 with the terracotta interior. I don't actually know <laughs> what the code is for this kind of interior, <clears throat> but it's in really good nick. There's a couple of, you know, scuffs here and there. The car's done um, 180,000 Ks, so you know, there's a bit of discoloration and stuff. Oh, there's one of my 
my chocolate pieces just chilling down there. <laughs> Two levers. <laughs> One for the engine and that's for the front, I assume. I actually haven't ever looked inside the front, so let's have a look. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. It's actually alright. That must be the service stuff. Servicing records to some spare tools. CD changer, I think. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know how half this stuff works. Don't judge me. <laughs> I don't know why the rearrangement of these really make me think of Beatles. Which is probably why they were called such. There you go. There's the motor. There's the uh, the problem child there. But actually, you can still see some coolant. But <laughs> one of the men's oh, let's see that loosened itself again. One of the men's I tried to do so that the thread would stop um, skipping is put a business card in there. Uh, so the guy's business card he works at Volkswagen in West Auckland. I'm pretty sure it's actually on the shore. But his is the only business card, <laughs> and apparently it was in my wallet. So thank you, David. I'm gonna probably find you and grab another business card because you did save a lot of hassle. This is an interesting way to do it. Right. He's got them run around the back of the tire. Super grateful for this guy to offer to do this. Still here. Steph, what the heck? What's planned now for the 911? Well, as of this weekend, we've decided to pull out of the deal. Two weeks on and the workshop still can't figure out what's wrong with the car and even more worrying is they seem to be unable to replicate the fault. This is a risk we no longer want to take, especially so early into this challenge. As mentioned at the beginning, there would be some oddball flips that would break the rules here and there. This car was absolutely one of those, but the potential for repair cost is a little too dear, so for that reason I've decided to chuck this edit video up now rather than wait for updates on it being repaired. But all is not lost. The upcoming flips are still going to be really exceptional and I think will boost us to a stage where we can start looking at more interesting and vague flips. So I do hope that you will all continue to join us in our flipping adventure and maybe sometime soon we'll be able to give Porsche another try.